Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this in Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. First off, I'm going to grab my type tool and write my text. It's white so we can't see it. We're going to make our text black. Make it pretty big just so you guys can see it better. Um, next, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Convert to Smart Object. Add a little bit of blur, depending on how big your text is. If your text is smaller than this, I might recommend going with a smaller amount of blur. Otherwise, you can go with a bit more. Um, I just went with three for now, and we can change it later on if we see it's not quite enough. Um, then go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur to get this sort of motion. So you just want the angle at zero degrees and then you can fix this number depending on how um, out of focus you want the effect to be. Anyways, press OK when you're happy with it. When I am happy with how this is looking and I don't, don't wanna make too many edits, uh, I'm just gonna go to the adjustments tab and add a threshold effect. And now you can play around with this slider to define the amount of bleed you want. If you don't think it's looking too good, you can just click on this arrow and edit your motion blur settings or your Gaussian blur settings. So you can add more effects to see if you like it more. Like this looks pretty cool. Um, I'm finally gonna add to this also a ripple effect. So I'll go to filter distort um, ripple and I'll go with probably something like 50% and as you kids can see it gave us the, those like jagged edges. Um, what I like to do lastly is select everything, command E to merge everything together because um, I want the ink bleed to be separated from the background. So I'm just going to go to select color range. I'm just going to click on the black with the eyedropper tool. Place the fuzziness at max. Press OK. And then I'm going to press command J to bring my selection onto a new layer. So that now I can basically add a, whatever color background I want. And yeah, that's basically it. Now to this, you can add a bunch of textures to get that cool effect. Uh, also some grain if you want. So let's add a texture. Just place it onto your file and change the blending mode to something like lighten and screen usually work better when you have some dark textures. As you can see, it'll affect the inside of your text. Then I might add a paper texture to our background. Here it is. I'm going to resize it. And that's basically it. It's pretty cool. You can add a bunch more textures uh, if you like. And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.